Here's the situation. You have a spreadsheet with pre-existing date stamps. What you need is a way to change a date stamp into an actual date that Excel can use in calculations. Because ultimately what you're going to do is determine how old each date stamp is. When you have each date stamp aged, you can sort this from oldest to newest. And then you can call attention to the ones that are over a certain age, say like over 90 days. Then you can tell your team, I need everybody to call their customers that have these date stamps over 90 days. And that's a quick way to call attention to the um, stamps that need urgent attention. And as a smart manager, you know speed is key. So let's look at what I have here. I only have two examples here to make this short and sweet. But up here we can tell that this is a text date stamp and I can't do any formula work on text. Also you can see that between August and 8th there are two spaces. It usually happens in a date stamp because one space is reserved for a two digit date like I have down here August 18th. Here there's only one space, here there's two spaces, that's something to keep in mind. So I have a multi-function formula to do this. I'll do it one function at a time so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to start with left. I use left on this and left is going to start in the far left and count over however many spaces I tell it. I already counted, I know it needs to go over six and that captures exactly what I want. August 8th, but I still have two spaces between August and 8th so then I'm going to use trim to get rid of the extra space. August 8th. Now what I need to do is extract the, the year out of this date stamp and I need to do that because what I'm about to do in Excel needs the date in a certain format to be able to recognize it. It needs a comma after the date and before the year or it won't recognize it. That's why I didn't use left and go all the way across to capture the year as well. I need to get the year on its own. So I'm going to use the mid function on this to get the year by itself. I know the year is going to start in the eighth position and I know it's only four characters long. There's the year. Now I'm going to use my favorite formula in the whole world. Concatenate which means to join together. I'm going to join August 8th onto a comma space onto a year. That is the format that Excel can recognize with this function, date value, on this. And that gives me a number I could use in the formula. That's what we're after. So let me slam this all together into one formula. I'm going to work backwards. I started with left. Then I saw that extra space and I used trim. Now I'm going to surround this with parentheses because this is going to be part of my concatenate. And I'm going to concatenate or join this onto my comma space and then onto my mid. And then I'm going to date value this entire thing. There we go. That's the number we're after. Now I'm going to format it so it looks like a date. 8813. Perfect. Right, now I can grab this and drag it. 818. Notice the trim is still in the formula, but here it didn't need to trim anything, so it's okay to leave it in there. Now I'm going to pick a date that crosses into the new year. 114. The reason, one of the reasons we extracted the date, or the year rather, out of the date stamp is because if we don't tell it the year, as soon as it crosses into a new year, Excel is going to automatically use the new year. So if I had just pulled out 88, as soon as we crossed into 14, this would have turned into 8814. So that's why I needed the year, just to make it more secure. Now to determine how old it is, I just use this really simple formula. Today's date minus the date stamp date. This is 149 days old. Now I'm going to come up here and lock today's date by hitting F4, so I don't have to continue to type that. And I can drag this down through my entire range. This one's 139 days old. And that is a really fast way 
to age text date stamps. Let me show you what I did. And that is a way to solve this need.